Hello Brinnington, welcome back to another Cooking Up a Storm. As usual, I'm your host Wendy, and today Mark is in the kitchen to bring you Lucy Isle's recipe for a tasty chow mein. For this quick and easy fake away, you're going to need 150 grams of dry egg noodles, one chicken breast cut into very thin strips, one carrot cut into matchsticks, a handful of bean sprouts, two spring onions finely sliced, two garlic cloves chopped into small pieces, one pack of chow mein sauce, and some grated ginger. This is optional, but will give your meal some zing. Now let's go over to Mark in the kitchen. Hello again, Brandon, and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I've got something really easy that you can scale from a meal for yourself up to a meal for your family, no matter how big. It's a simple, delicious chicken chow mein. So it's quite enough of me talking. What we want to see is the ingredients. So let's bring the camera down and take a look. So. Here we have some dry egg noodles, a nice fresh chicken breast, carrot cut into matchsticks, handful of bean sprouts, two spring onions to finely slice. We'll be giving you some fresh garlic cloves. I'm using garlic powder. You'll need a pack of chow mein sauce, which we'll include in your pack. And you'll need grated ginger root if you really want to kick off the taste. Now, Wendy's just going to run you through the method while I make final preparations for cooking. This week's method is really simple. First, cook the noodles according to the instructions on the pack. Marinate the chicken with one tablespoon of the chow mein sauce and put aside for 15 minutes. Now heat one tablespoon of vegetable oil in a wok or large frying pan and cook the chicken until golden brown, then place on a plate and allow to rest. Next, place your pan on a high heat. Add the carrots and fry for a couple of minutes, then add the bean sprouts. Finally add the cooked chicken and stir in the remaining sauce and the spring onions. Serve immediately. And while you've been following the method, I've had time to chop up my chicken breast. Very thin strips. I've cut it even smaller because I like nice little bite-sized chunks. And you need to marinate that in either just a spoonful of your chow mein sauce, or if you've got it at home, soy sauce. Give it 15 minutes. Don't forget to keep turning and mixing and agitating. Now, with that done, we're going to get on to the cooking. So, first things first, you need to prepare your egg noodles. All that means is, you basically, you're going to need to boil them. So, put your oven on. Turn up the heat, bring it to a boil. Depending on how large your family is, these noodles come in, these noodles come in three slices. Depending on how large the family you're cooking for is, use between one and three. Simple matter, if there's two of you, just use one slice. If there's four of you, just use two. If there's more than, if there's more than four, then put all three in. I only need to use the one, so that's what I'm going to go with. And with our water boiling, we can add our sheet of dry noodles. That needs to boil down for about four minutes and they'll be ready to serve. While that's happening, while that's happening, you'll add about a tablespoonful of cooking oil to your wok or frying pan. Don't matter if you haven't got a wok, don't worry about it. A frying pan will do just as well. See, bring it to the heat. And when that's good and ready, you can add your chicken straight in. That's spreading ready. So until that goes, 
your marinated chicken. Away we go, start cooking. Now cook this, spray it off until it's golden brown and we'll move it onto a separate plate to stand. noodles, pop the lid on them, keep them warm, you're going to need them shortly. Your chicken should be cooking to a lovely golden brown colour, which means texture like sun. And when we've got that, you can just see it starting here. Lovely golden brown. La da di da da. Take that off. Put in a pan on a plate. Of course. Then add your vegetables. Treat myself to some mushrooms on this one. Bring them in. Try them on. You felt the method. So we're going to quickly run through, soften the veg, adding the bean sprouts, the sauce, bringing the chicken back in, giving it its last stir through, and then plating it up. Let's see you on the other side. Get this on a plate and have a little taste. That's good Chinese food. As always, over to you, Brennington. Mm, it's really good. And that's it for this week. 
Don't forget to post your pictures to the Brinnington Big Local Facebook group. And we'll see you here next week for Spaghetti Bolognese. Happy cooking!